the 1980s was a crazy decade and at the end of it the global economy overheated and, like the aftermath of all great parties, it got a serious hangover. As a result it was an era in which the seriously rich got the opportunity to display their wealth by commissioning a ludicrously ostentatious car thanks to a raft of companies that sprang up to stretch, decapitate and upholster already valuable cars to within an inch of their lives. Here we look at some of the best worst examples of these overblown cars let us know if you like them as there's plenty more where these came from. Chameleon Typhoon 1984 Based on the Mercedes-Benz 500 SEC The Chameleon predated the 560 SEC, this was the flagship product of a company that specialized in the Volga. Everything was thrown at the range topping Mercedes Coupe wide arch body kit, engine upgrades including supercharging and a retrimmed interior crammed with the latest tech including TV and video. Nice. Glenfrome 1000 Cell 1984 Straight off the set of Miami Vice but built in Britain, the 1000 Cell was built by Bristol-based Glenfrome and based on the W126 Mercedes class. Stretched by 36 inches the interior kitsch level was turned up to 12 and so was the exteriors, thanks to the gold-plated exterior trim. Koenig Boxer 1980 Willie Koenig bought his own Ferrari Boxer in 1974 and decided he wanted something faster and more distinctive, so he farmed the car out to companies who could make it more powerful and look more outrageous. His friends saw it and asked him to do the same for them, a whole customizing empire called Koenig Specials grew from that. Rinse speed 939-1983 If you've ever wondered what the result is of mating a 911 with a 928, then wonder no more. Swiss company Rinspeed grafted a 928 front and rear lights into a Porsche 911 turbo and this was the result, complete with all white color scheme inside and out. Auto Costrazione Salvatore di Omantane 1983 It's fair to say that this four-door convertible HAS NTH well, but then did it really look desirable when new proof that money doesn't buy taste? This Italian take on the Rolls-Royce Silver Spirit cost around £200,000 about $300,000 at the time in 1986. You could probably lop at least two zeros off it to find its current worth. Hooper Turbo R 1988 Hooper opened its doors in 1805 and closed them in 1959. Along the way it worked mainly on special-bodied Rolls Royces and Bentleys, but the name was revived in 1988 to offer twaddle versions of the Rolls Royce Silver Spirit and Bentley Turbo R compared with many of the horrors around at the time. These cars were very restrained but still hugely expensive. Chameleon 1000 Cell 1983 There's no denying that the standard of craftsmanship with these cars was exquisite, but if you suffered from having any taste you'd have run or at least been chauffeur-driven a mile rather than splash out on one of these. Malcolm Cole Range Rover 1985 One of the staples of the coach builder throughout the 1980s was the Range Rover, which could be turned into just about anything you wanted it to be. This was the Malcolm Cole take, complete with six-wheel drive for better traction. Wood Pickett Cheltenham 6 1985 Sounding like a gang of criminals rather than an uber costly off roader the Wood Pickett Cheltenham 6 was another six-wheel drive Range Rover. As this publicity shot shows, the target market for such cars was made very clear with that Arabic number plate. Wood Picketshire Rover 1985 UDIDNT have to have six wheels Wood Pickett was just as happy to build you a stretched Range Rover with just one wheel at each corner. This is perhaps its best-known product, its sheer rover with its distinctive sloping nose. Wood Pickett Goodwood 1985 Alternatively, you could have an open-topped Range Rover. Compared with many of the abominations in this article, the Wood Pickett Goodwood was remarkably restrained. A. E. Smith Hunting Conversion 1984 Of course you didnt have to settle for either stretched or chopped, you could have both if you wanted. This hunting car by A.E. Smith was just the job for bagging a few pheasants on a Sunday morning. Vantage Field Range Rover 1992 Up front there was space for two while in the lengthened rear section was a longitudinally mounted seat, drinks cabinet, TV and hi-fi for whiling away those long drives across the desert. Townley Desert Ranger 1984 Surely the ultimate of ultimate Range Rovers, the Townley Desert Ranger WASNT just stretched to the point where it surely needed an heavy truck license to drive it, but it was also widened by 30 cm too. We suspect not many of these were built. Glenfrome Portway 1984 We introduced Glenfrome to you earlier, and one of the things the company really liked to do was mess about with Range Rovers. One of its most extreme offering was a Portway, a 6-7-door car with every conceivable luxury known to man crammed into the interior. 
Glenfrome Ashton 1984 Glenfrome was also happy to slice the roof off your Range Rover if that's what you preferred. This is the Ashton, with its new nose and polished wheels. At least the lines were generally clean though. SVC 1987 Our final Range Rover is courtesy of SVC, which seemingly just lopped the roof off but kept some bracing in place so the Rangi DIDNT feel like a jelly to drive. But looking at the shut lines on the bonnet's near side corner the build quality was a bit approximate to say the least. Canid Mercedes SEC 1987 The Mercedes SEC is a rather handsome beast with its discreet lines. But not by the time Koenig had finished sticking on its trademark wide arches, although we like the cabriolet conversion. Shame Mercedes DIDNT offer an official open-topped SEC. Rinspeed R69 1983 Rinspeed offered a stack of different packages for 911 fans desperate to be different and this one was called the R69. The nose looked quite neat but the company had obviously been looking at the Koenig catalogue a bit too closely. Exclusive Auto Design 1000 Cell 1983 The Mercedes W126 class was a staple of the 80s tuner and nowhere was this put to better worse effect than with the Exclusives Auto Design 1000 Cell Yes, another. With gold plating all over the place this is clearly the perfect transport for dictators the world over the options list even contained a gold plate gear knob in the shape of a hawk's head. BB 928 Cabriolet 1980 Brothers Rayner and Dieter Buckman set up BB in the 1970s, operating Porsches for wealthy clients they soon branched out into Mercedes and Volkswagen too. Perhaps best known for its 928 Targa conversion, BB also offered this rather fetching 928 convertible. Close.